I guess my interest in photography began when uh, my mom bought me a camera. I was about 12 or 13 years old. I just got hooked immediately. I always knew I was going to be a photographer. I was in the commercial world for a long time. I was a fashion photographer for about 14 years. And then uh, I got invited to go to Africa and it completely changed my life. That whole experience changed my life. And uh, that was in 1997. So ever since then, I've been working on personal projects and doing, concentrating more on fine art work and doing my own work. Even though it's all photography, it's two very different worlds. When I start a project, I don't immediately think, OK, this is going to be my next big project. I just use photography as a way to investigate something that, that holds my interest. I just want to respond to things that I feel moved by or that I feel politicized by or that I have an interest in. Sometimes it works and makes itself into a project and sometimes it doesn't. This is a very important body of work for me. It really was the beginning of uh, me starting to you know, make my own work and make my own pictures and make work that meant something to me. I spent uh, three years traveling all over Southern Africa. I traveled on my own. I went to Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Malawi, South Africa. I was really interested in uh, the rural side of Southern Africa and uh, because I think everybody knows the story about townships and the, the, the political struggle. I was more interested in sort of ordinary people, real people who just go to work every day. When I first went to Africa, I started taking pictures of everything, you know, mountains and beautiful sunsets and that, you know, the whole thing. But I was sort of gravitated more towards the people. And uh, that's why um, a lot of the work from this series is uh, portraits. And uh, I wanted to present them as I saw them, you know, not a sort of romanticized idea of Africans or Africa, but it's just, uh, I guess, how I saw it, how it really was. For my fine art work, I'm still using film. Uh, and then I make a digital file from that. It just works better for me. And you are working with the images in a post-production uh, way, in a different way as well. Um, you really have to engage with each single image. And uh, I kind of like that process. Aesthetics are important if it brings something to the picture that, that adds to the, the meaning of it. I think the problem with farm is that we were also used to looking at images of um, negative images of Africa. Because I think a lot of photography that came out of Africa, especially in the 70s and 80s, was made by NGOs who were trying to create a picture of Africa in need. And so people could respond to that. And I understand that, of course. But I think because our TVs were flooded with these kind of images, um, it did begin to become the way the West looked at Africa. So I think, you know, there is an aesthetic to these pictures, but I think it was necessary to try and make something that was visually different to what you'd seen before. So it's sometimes it's important in this particular series. I think, yes, it, it was important, definitely. The emphasis on this exhibition is documentary and photojournalism. Some of the images are difficult to look at, but I think that's a good thing. I think that, you know, we have to continue to engage with other parts of the world and become interested in and become politicized by uh, the things that are going on in the world. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's fantastic and I would really encourage everybody to come and see it. And I think that the museum is beautiful and it's, it, you couldn't find a nice place to come and have a museum like this. So, yeah. I don't do any commercial work anymore, no. So, poorer but happier. <laughs>